What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. Trey, let's talk about some golf. The 123rd playing of the U.S. Open Championship will be this weekend. They are playing at the Los Angeles Country Club, the North Course. Trey, who do you have winning this thing? Yes, and I don't know if you saw the Twitter video that came out probably a week ago by now of them dropping four balls into the rough, and mm -hmm. they basically disappeared. Yep. Yeah, so Absolutely. it's going to be a very fun weekend of golf to watch, and I'm all for it. It's basically going to be greens and regulation, who can get to the greens the fastest and in the lower score, because they do not want to get in the rough. They're going to be hitting fairways all weekend. And someone that's familiar with this course, and that might be a popular play for this weekend, but I don't care. I'm going with Max Homa as my winner. I'm going to give out a winner, and I'm also going to give out a top 10 finisher. And Max Homa is going to be my pick. He's a plus 3,500 bet. It's great money. You bet $10, you get 350 Bet 100 you get 3500 So it is a great bet to just cash in, and it's going to start off good. And Max Homa, he is number seven on the World Golf Ranking, so he does deserve some respect. And he is from California, so that makes me love this bet from the start. And we've seen a lot of former major champions show up and perform in front of their home crowd and win the major. So I think that Max Homa can certainly do that. And whenever we parlay the fact that Max Homa literally has the course record here, that makes me absolutely love this 3,500 bet because he shot a 61 on that course to win the Pac-12 championship. And Homa, yes, he's entering this uh, course with a little bit of struggles, but if there's any course that he can play on to put it behind him, it is this one. So give me Max Homa to win the U.S. Open and win us some major cheddar. Yeah, Trey, I'm going to tell you who's going to win the U.S. Open this year. It's a guy that I've followed for a while. I've grown to love him, and that man is Max Homa. Yes, we did play. We picked the same player. Uh, wild. We don't talk about it before we record, but this is just genuine reaction. He's currently a plus 3,500 this weekend. Like Trey said, a lot of people already know this, but this is his home course. He said in a quote earlier this week that he grew up just 18 miles down the road from this course where he played it a lot as a younger golfer. He also holds the course record, like Trey said, under nine, or nine under par, 61. He shot that during the 2013 Pac-12 Championship where he went to California as a Golden Bear. So I do like Max Holmey. He does have the course knowledge. He even said in an interview that he felt like he should have shot a 59 because he three-putted a hole, and then he didn't get up and down from the greenside bunker on six. He seems very confident in his game and with this course detail. So I like Max Homa as my official play. I will say this course right now, after looking at some videos, like Trey said, it's going to be very hard for these guys to get around. This will be their first time in 18 years that the U.S. Open will feature Bermuda Grass Rough. And if you guys haven't yet, go look at the Twitter videos. They're incredible. The ball disappears, like Trey said, in the rough. Players will have no option but to lay up if they do hit it in the rough off the tee box, especially on par fives. It does look like the course is playing extremely hard, just like the every U.S. Open usually does. So expect scores to be a little bit higher uh, on the higher side while these players work around the terrain. Max Homa does hit nearly 60% of his fairways, which sounds like it's not a lot, but it's 86 in the PGA this season. The highest percentage on tour this year is Ryan Armour, who is hitting 70% of his fairways. But of course, anything can happen in the U.S. Open. I just know that hitting the fairways would be very important this weekend. So hopefully Max Homa can hit a little bit more than 60%, but with the highest average being 70%, I'd like our chances at 60% with Max Homa. Give me Max Homa to win it. I will also give out Colin Morikawa because he is also from the Los Angeles area, and he will be the honorary host of the U.S. Open. He has had some injuries problems flare up over the last month or so, so he does have a little bit of a lower back issue, but I don't think that's going to keep him out of the top 10 in the U.S. Open. He has played this course as well, going 4-0 when the 2017 Walker Cup was held at this course. The United States beat Britain and the Irish in that matchup. So if he does play and he is healthy, I will sprinkle some on Colin as well. But my main play is going to be Max Homa to win the U.S. Open at plus 3,500. Trey, we'll play it together. We'll cash together. It'll be a fun weekend for us. But let's take a look at some other plays, some top 10 finishes. Who do you have? So quick question. You said Ryan Armour leads the whole PGA in uh, fairways hit? 70%. So he is at the very bottom of this whole winner list at plus 50,000. Maybe that's a great nugget to just sprinkle like a dollar on that or something, because who knows, he could hit a lot of fairways this weekend and that could bode well for him for sure. I just thought that that's a uh, 
pretty interesting fact. So for my top 10, I'm going to go with a guy that we know he's going to go there. And that's probably why it's juiced to minus 145. But I still love it because it's a sure bet, essentially. And that's Scotty Scheffler at a top 10 finish at minus 145. And the world number one, he is deserving of the number one ranking because he's had a really great 2023 season, even though it hasn't turned out to as many wins as it probably should have. And his worst finish this season is tied for 12th. That is just insane. And he has eight top five finishes as well. And whenever we're looking at just what he does in the majors, in his last nine majors, he has seven top tens. So that makes me love this bet. And he's been amazing when it comes to being at the top of the board this entire season in his last nine majors. So it definitely should continue here with the U.S. Open because like we've all said throughout this video, it's going to be a tough course. And with Scheffler having the sturdiest hand throughout the whole PGA, I think he's a sure bet. So give me Scotty Scheffler at minus 145 for a top 10 finish. Yeah, he is a no-doubt top-10 finish. That's not going to be a big deal for him. Like you said, 12th this season is worst. He's had eight top-five finishes. That's a great pick there. I'm also going to take uh, Brooks Kepka to finish inside the top-10. Uh, that one's going to be at plus-130, I believe, on FanDuel. Brooks Kepka probably should have won both majors this season, but he will settle for the one he won just a couple weeks back. This man does not care about golf until the big boys come up, and that's where he shines the brightest. Here's a stat for you guys to take home, share it with your family and friends. Brooks Kepka has made the cut in three of the four majors so far. He won one. He tied for second at minus 12 in the Masters, and he tied for fourth at the British Open. He loves the spotlight, and he loves performing when it matters the most. So that will be my last play, Brooks Kepka to make top 10 at plus 130 in this U.S. Open. All right, guys, that'll do it for our PGA U.S. Open predictions for this week. And if you guys enjoyed the content, please sure drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.